here we are a week ahead of Lent. Um, and so we've got time still to discern what we're going to do to in order to deepen our faith and to learn. And today uh, um, we have our saint of the day is uh, Saint Scholastica. Um, she's a saint of the Catholic Church, the Eastern Orthodox Churches, and our Anglican Communion. She was born in Italy, and according to the ni a 9th century tradition, she was the twin sister of Benedict of Nursia. Her feast day is today, February 10th, Saint Scholastica's Day. Scholastica is traditionally regarded as the founder of the Benedictine nuns, just as her brother Benedict was the founder of the Benedictine brothers. According to the dialogues of St. Gregory the Great, Scholastica was born uh, around 480 AD in Nursia, Umbria, uh, in Italy, of wealthy parents. While Gregory states that Scholastica was Benedict's sister, a later tradition says she was his twin sister, whether it's meant biologically or spiritually, or both is not clear. Uh, Gre Gregory also says that uh, she was dedicated to God from a young age, she and her brother Benedict were brought up together until their time when he left to pursue studies in Rome. A young Roman woman of Scholastica's class and time would likely have remained with her parents uh, in their house until marriage, uh, which would have likely been arranged, as we know, or until entry into a consecrated life of monasticism of some kind. On occasion, several consecrated women would live together in a household and form a community. And so this was her inspiration for forming some of the first Benedictine nunneries. Benedictine tradition uh, holds that Scholastica established a hermitage about five miles from Monte Cassino, which is where Benedict uh, set up his first mon monastery, and that this was the first convent of the Benedictine nuns. Scholastica is a patron saint of Benedictine women communities, obviously, of schools, of tests, of books, and of reading. And so, as Lent is only a week away, I encourage you to make a commitment to read something something new about your faith. Might I suggest one of Rowan Williams' books, uh, Being Disciples or Being Christian? Uh, they're both under 100 pages and quite good to offer food, a lot of food for thought, as we develop our and grow our faith during the season of Lent. And so let us pray. As we remember Scholastica, we pray, O Lord, that following her example, we may serve you with pure love by committing time to learning and deepening our faith, and happily receive what comes from loving you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.